Niliongelea kuhusu mfumo dhaifu nikaza kuongea na mwenze afterwards na ka chime in and uh, alisema hivi tumsikilize Actually naweza ku agree na uh, what you're saying ya uh, tatizo la kimfumo uh, I always been thinking kwamba ni kweli ni tatizo la kimfumo kwa sababu everything uh, move around the system Uwezi kitu nje ya system kikaingilia mambo ya utaratibu uliokuepo katika mchezo. Uh, mimi kama kiongozi I can see kwamba tuna matatizo ya kimfumo. Tunapoangalia hizi uh, national team hizi zote ni by products the, the existing system. Uh, uh, active leagues uh, Uh, youth development programs na vitu vinginevyo ambavyo vinahusiana na maendeleo ya kikapu haya yote yanatokana na uwekezaji gani how much have we, have we invested uh, to establish uh, well uh, productive systems ambazo zinatusaidia sisi kama sisi mfano rais uh, katika hii TBF ya sasa hivi TBF It's not about operations. Basically operations of basketball zinatakiwa zifanyike katika regional levels ambazo hawa kikatiba ni wanachama wa msingi ambao kwa pamoja ndo wana formulate kitu kinaitwa shirikisho. Lakini uh, at some times you might find out TBF anakuwa hold accountable kwa activities ambazo hazijafanyika Dodoma, hazijafanyika sijui uh, Kagera, Kigoma. Lakini in one way or another lazima tuelewe hii ni changamoto ya kimfumo kwa sababu first of all we don't know kwamba information flows inaelekea wapi is it bottom up au top down eh? kitu cha pili ni lazima tujue uh, majukumu yetu eh? what are the boundaries of our responsibilities eh? changamoto kubwa ambayo tunapambana nayo ndio maana at one time i introduced the idea of having a strategic plan kwa sababu through that we can be measured eh? kwa sasa hivi itakuwa watu tunabuni tu kitu kikiota leo utataka tukiintroduce kesho kisipo work out kesho tuna give up the next day and we will be having no direction at all kwa hiyo uh, ideally uh, uh, mimi na shauri kabisa uh, so swala la ku point kidole kwa let's say our president au oh, kwa viongozi fulani hii ni tatizo la ki la wadau wote kwa kifupi kwa sababu hata kama tunamlaumu president president hajadondoka kutoka hewani it is us ndio tumemchagua tumeona anaweza akatofaa akatuongoza the way we wanted our basketball to uh, yeleke e, sasa uh, tusipoint kwa mtu mmoja mmoja lazima tufikie tu atukubali kwamba kwa kweli tuna changamoto ya kimfumo ambayo in one way or another inaleta effects zake tunaziona kupitia hizi programs tunaona hatuna effective national team programs hatuna effective active leagues hatuna effective development programs za vijana na wanawake hiyo yote ni kwa sababu ya changamoto za kimfumo kila mtu anatakiwa awe measured na ndio maana taasisi zetu za kigeni labda hizi NGO za, za wageni au za kizungu tunasema Kiswahili the same person yuko more productive kule lakini the same person akiingia kwenye mifumo let's say hii ya kawaida tunamuona ni mtu asiyejielewa hohe hahe umeshaelewa kitu ambacho unagundua kumbe is a system ndio ina ina bring inaeleta impact kwa mtu inamfanya mtu abadilike sio mtu ndo abadilishe ile system no system ikiwa tukiwa na effective system uh, na ndio tunapata effective result kwa hiyo mtazamo wangu ndio huo na uh, mina, mimi nasema ukweli kabisa viongozi wa mikoa viongozi wa kitaifa viongozi wa kikanda we should all think about it kwa sababu sio it's not a one man's job mimi nachukua mfano rais mfano rais Uh, let's say uh, TBF commissioner wa mashindano na, na, na ufundi Manase lakini Manase hawezi akafanya aka, aka mashindano everything throughout the country guys we have 26 region all over the country how can we Manase ataendaje kila sehemu yeye kama yeye eh? ni lazima kuwe na segmentation of, of responsibilities 
watu wafanye kwa levo ya kiwilaya watu wafanye kwa levo ya kimkoa watu wafanye kwa levo ya kikanda watu wafanye kwa levo ya kitaifa eh? and who accounts to who lazima ijulikane chain of responsibility haiwezekani 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 kila kitu tutegemee just one person dunia haiwezi kabadilika for the sake of one person one person atakiwa ni stimulant lakini a true change inatokana na watu wengi wenye mawazo sawa wenye motivation ni sawa umeshaelewa that's the idea ambayo mimi nazungumza personally mimi kama mimi i really want us to point vidole kwa mtu mmoja tu tujinyoshe vidole sisi sote sisi sote hata basketball yetu ya nchi aiko the way vile tunavyotaka kwa sababu yetu sisi sote it's not about one person that's all i can say